Welcome Sally friends, my name is Nadia. Uh, today we'll be working on some shoulder and neck release and also some abdominal work. So we'll do some crunches and all of the uh, traditional uh, abdominal work and core work. So whenever you're ready, uh, whenever you're settled, start bringing feet wider than hip width distance. Bring your shoulders up to your ears, exhale, back and down. A few shoulder rolls here. It's a good way to get started and connecting with the breath. As you're getting in touch with this part of your body, it holds a lot of tension, it holds a lot of, a lot of memory. It's the way we sit, and the way we move throughout our day. And a few more times here. And this last time, exaggerate a little, exaggerate a little bit. So bring your shoulders all the way up to your ears. You may touch your ears here. Exhale, drop it back and down. And this time we'll move one shoulder at a time, starting with your right shoulder. So go ahead and bring it all the way up to your ear. Exhale, back and down. Your left shoulder still. And not moving. Just gonna slowly moving forward, up to your ear. Bring it back and down. Three more times. One last time here. Usually it's the last time I always recommend to pause to kind of feel every breath, to feel every movement. So this last time, gonna bring your hand forward up to your ears, slowly lose control, take it back and down the other side. Be gentle with yourself. If you have any restrictions on the neck and shoulders, keep that in mind. For me, my right shoulder is much more sensitive to pretty much anything because I hold more tension in it. So I'm usually like, a little bit more careful with that side just because it doesn't like a lot of adjustment or unusual movement. Two more times here. Let's add one last time, moving up to the ear. Exhale, slowly drop it back and down. And this last uh, round is going to be a little different and you may not be able to do it exactly correct because it messes with your brain a little bit so we're gonna do, go opposite direction so let's say the right shoulder is gonna come forward left shoulder gonna come back simultaneously she's gonna see if you can replicate that movement as you're moving well, sometimes it can feel a little confusing but just it's like I don't know moving meditation when, you, when your mind wanders you can always bring it back it doesn't matter if you missed one or two it's not like it's gone forever it's it can always be brought back one last time after this uh, kind of um, shoulder rolls i like to reset so after all of that movement i like to bring my shoulders all the way up to the ears exhale bring it back and down bring your Palms facing forward now. You can look at my side profile here. You can see my elbows are bent back a little bit behind me. If you round the breath here, tuck the tailbone down, lift your heart. Feeling yourself standing strong, pressing equally with the corners of your feet. And go ahead and lift your toes off the mat slowly, starting with your big side of your foot. Each toe at a time comes down, finding your grounding. Maybe rock your weight front to back a few times. As you're rocking your weight front to back, see if you can come on your toes. It's always helpful to have a gazing uh, spot on the floor, something you can gaze at to bring your focus and your balance. So, inhale, raise your arms past your head, come on your tippy toes. Exhale, lower everything. We'll do this five more times. Inhale. Exhale, relax it down. Two. Expand, reach your fingertips high, feel your rib cage expanding. Exhale, lower it down. One last time, just hold it here. Exhale, relax everything down. Bring your feet back, um, wider than hip width. This then bring your hands by your waist, 
So your thumbs are pointing back, elbows pointing back. Roll your shoulders up to your ears. And keep tucking your tailbone down. We're not taking a back bend here. Just kind of activating the shoulders, opening the chest area. And you start to rock front to back again. And come back to stillness. Inhale, reach your arms past your head, bend your knees, fold forward. Halfway lift the club back, keep your knees bent. Exhale, drop your head down between your knees. And circle your head. You may not yes and no. Any familiar movement here. Keeping your knees bent, reverse one back, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees. Relax your head. Halfway lift, straighten. Exhale, relax. Reach your arms up. Exhale, one last time. Fold forward. And bring your palms down. And start to rock your weight side to side. You may flip the palms. Palms facing up if that feels okay. And just in here, it's not a lot of weight. Um, it's not like you're in all fours where you have a lot of weight on your hands. This, most of the weight is, uh, is in your feet. Um, so, this should feel comfortable getting in this shape. Relax your head back down. One more round of breath. And start to lift your hands, raise your arms past your head, straight up. And bring your arms back by your sides. Okay, we'll take uh, eagle's arms. We'll be focusing on the upper body today. Let's bring your right hand. Right on top of your, um, well, no. Actually, bring your right hand right into the midline. Opposite hand comes under. Now, reach your fingertips to the side. See if you can really, really, really wrap the arms. As you get here, see if you can have a namaste uh, hand. Your palms are pressing together. Not equally, just a little bit. I can get it deeper than this. If you can, go ahead and... Uh, just you can even try a few times. Inhale, expand. Exhale, see if you can wrap a little bit, getting a little bit deeper in the pose. Let's do it a few more times. Inhale, exhale, wrap everything. Gently, mindfully moving with your breath. If you have any prior injuries, if you have, and then, uh, I have like very sensitive shoulders because my shoulders are very flexible and I'm usually like very careful of the way I move. So if you have anything like that, just kind of be mindful of it as you're moving. I'm gonna do it one last time here. Inhale, reach your arms into a T. Exhale, arch your spine back behind you. Sometimes that helps create some space. Wrap the arms, press the palms together. Make clasp, sometimes I like to clasp my fingers. Tuck the tailbone down, inhale. Bring your gaze high to the sky. Okay. That release that this pose creates in the scapulas. Two more rounds of breath here. Feel your back body expand on your inhale. slowly release moving your opposite arm on top again let's bring it up out into a T X wrap it up but if the first time the first uh, side about like five times so you kind of try to copy what you did in the first side on the second side as well now even it out Reach your arms out, open your heart, exhale, wrap, and bind. Inhale, lift up, lifting your elbows towards your gaze. Lift your arms of breath here, see how this side may be different from the first side. How it could be 
more limiting, you can be more forgiving. Two more rounds of breath here, soft face, soft gaze. I'm feeling, feeling a lot of heat building from my shoulders moving down to my arms all the way to the fingertips. And slowly unwrap, bring your arms by your sides, press by your side body, left your heart. Exhale, relax. Inhale, reach your arms up. Move your feet wider than hip width distance. Moving straight down. Fold forward. Relax your head and your neck. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, relax. Fold, keeping your arms right in front of you. Rise all the way to stand, arms by your sides. You just have to bring your feet to hip with distance. Cactus your arms, bend your elbows, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Press your skull back. Make sure it's not a compression on your low back. Big inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. And bring it back to center, move it to the left. One more time. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift your heart. Exhale, adding this nice twist. Back to center, switch sides. Come back to center, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, take it all the way down and fold forward. Now we'll come to a seated position. So once you're in forward fold, this time move your feet as wide as your mat, heels in, toes out. And start to bend the knees and come to a squat or modified squat. So your modified squat can may look like this, or um, yeah, we won't be using the squat today. So it may be looking like this, more like a goddess pose, right? If you want to take it all the way, I'm gonna take it all the way, but lift your heart either way. Press your chest through. We're stay still or up front to back. Come back up, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, reach your arms past your head. Bring your feet in to help with distance, bend the knees, move your hands right in front of you. I will come to sit and slowly bring your seat all the way down, drop back. I'll come to a sit, to a seated position. And once you get here, Come to boat pose. Find your own expression here. Your legs can be straight, you may bend the knees. Make sure you're not down on your sacrum, you're balancing on the sit bones. And five rounds of breath here. Wide collar bones, open heart, open chest. You may stay still or start to pulse a few times. Reach your arms by your ears. Lower your legs. Lower your upper body. Come all the way down on your mat. Bring soles of your feet down on the mat. Clasp your hands behind your head. Lift your shoulders and your head up the mat. You may have to. For me, it's hard to bring my low back all the way down, and it's gonna be important because it protects. Um, it can be really protective and it feels much nicer when you're not working your low back and abdominal work. So I, it's really nice to kind of like kind of wiggle out of it a little bit until you feel your low back is pressing down. It may pop up again, but we're just kind of sitting up the foundations. Clasp your hands behind your head. We'll sort of curl your chin to your chest and lower. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, let out the side. One more time. Inhale to repair. Exhale. Inhale in. Exhale, curl up. Lower down. And back up. Three more times. Come 
for your last time here, keep lifting up. Bring your knees into your chest. Come to 90 degrees. Press your feet away from you as if you have an imaginary wall that you're pressing away from you. Flare your toes, flex your feet. Exhale. Kick your feet back into 45 degrees. Exhale. Bring it in. Only five times or so. This is one, two, three, four, and five. Hold it here. Bring your knees in. Relax everything down. Arms by your sides. Big inhale. Long exhale. Move your feet closer to your seat. So feet hip width distance and setting up for bridge pose. Bring your arms by your sides. Inhale. Press your feet down, lift up. Reach your arms past your head. Exhale, arms by your sides, lower your seat down. You can do this up to 10 times or so. It can be very, very nice and rewarding, relaxing. Inhale, toning the glutes. Exhale, relax it down. Move at your own pace. Flow with the breath. Stop here, take five more. Two. Three. Four. And five, we're gonna hold it here. Keep your arms past your head, slowly lower your hips down on the mat. Bring your arms back by your sides, feet together, soles of your feet together for reclined butterfly. A few rounds of breath here. You may stop walks under your legs if there's tension or discomfort. See if you can open and close your mouth a few times. So you're, you're at home, you're by yourself, nobody's watching. Just kind of do it a few times. See if you can let go of that, that extra tension. Um, in the jaws, in the face. You may even go in circles. Make it weird, it's fine. And this last time, open your mouth wide as if you're going to yawn. Exhale, close it, parting your lips, and just let your tongue rest on the bottom of your mouth. Feeling your knees, pulling down towards the ground, resting, relaxing. I'm trying to resist the gravity at the same time. One last round of breath here. And slow to control, bring the soles of your feet down on your mat. Walk your, walk your feet as wide as the mat, drop your knees together. One last round of breath. And bring your arms out into a teeth of, um, uh, your palms are pressing down on the mat or the floor, windshield wiper, side to side. come to one direction, go ahead and let it rest and gaze in the opposite direction, grounding your shoulders down. Inhale, back to center, exhale, drop it. And rest to gaze away from your knees. And pressing soles of your feet down. Bring your knees into your chest, kick your feet up to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. 
His fingers wrap around the big toes or hands around the ankles, rock side to side. You may have your legs bent or straight. And bring soles of your feet together. Hold the ankles. A few rounds of breath here. This is really rewarding because it helps pressing your low back down to the ground. A few more rounds of breath here. I'm going to start to rock with the length of your spine front to back. Bring your knees further up. Wrap your arms around your knees. Three times. You're not bringing your head or your shoulders down. One last time together. Exhale. Come to cross like a seat. Reach your arms past your head. Exhale, bend the elbows, cactus arms, and twist to the right. Bring it back to center and to the left. Take it back to center one more time. Twist to the right and to the left. Back to center and rest. Walk your hands forward. Make sure your sit bones are connected to the mat. Don't let them pop up. Relax the head. Let your neck go. Well, let your head go. Two more rounds of breath. And press your mat away. Come back to sit. Switch to your opposite leg. Front. Inhale, bend the elbows, starting with the left side. Take it back to center and to the right. Back to center, reach the arms by your ears, slowly lower down. Inhale, bring your knees forward, both of your feet to one side and come to all fours. Bring your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Now move your hands a few inches forward, your knees a few inches back. Inhale for cow. Exhale, child's pose. Two more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, child's pose. One last. This time lower your chest towards the mat. A little bit lower. Exhale. Take it back down. Move your hands wider to a little bit of space. Press forward and lower all the way down with your elbows pointed behind you. Tops of your feet come down. Arms by your sides. A few rounds of breath here. Come back, bring your forehead down or lift your forehead as your gaze is straight forward. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale to lower. One more time. Hover your arms off the mat. Lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower. And this time you're going to lift your chest and your arms with your right leg. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower everything down. Other side. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower everything down. Other side. Both of your legs, both of your arms. Inhale, lift up. Hover everything. Exhale to lower. Two more times, moving at your own pace. Inhale. Exhale to lower. One last time here. We'll hold it. Bring your arms by your ears. Lift high, high, high. Exhale, lower everything down. Stack your palms under your forehead. Move your feet wide. And relax. Stacking your opposite palm on top. One more round of breath here. 
Inhale, lift up, bring your gaze straight in front of you, walk your feet in. Windshield wiper side to side, you may bring your chin on top of your hand. You may uncock your toes just to get a little bit of change here. And come on your toes, bring your hands under your shoulders, push the mat away. And come to seal pose. Untuck your toes if you have them tucked, push the mat away to straighten the arms. Gently tuck your chin to your chest. Exhale, lower down. Welcome to forearm plank. If you'd like to skip this, you can modify. You can like skip it um, or modify it to sphinx pose. So we're starting with sphinx pose. Bring your shoulders under your elbows, under your shoulders. Kind of find a good foundation. You want your palms to be wide. Press your forearms down to activate the shoulders and start to tug the toes. Inhale in. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. This time you're going to press a little bit harder with your forearms, with your hands to keep the toes tucked. Lift up. You want to have your hips as high as your shoulders, ideally. Sometimes I say that, look at my video, and that is not the case. But then if you're working in front of a mirror, it might be nice to check yourself out. We'll slowly lower the knees, hover the knees. Keep it here. Keep your hips high. Straighten the legs. Let's do this two more times. Inhale in. Exhale. Hover the knees as close as you can to the mat. Send it back up. One last time. Send it back up. Lower the knees and take child's pose. Inhale, walk your hands closer until you come to a seated position. It may be sitting on your heels. Bring your hands on top of your thighs. I will take cow face pose. So bring your right hand palm facing um, your direction, facing your gaze. So to bring it to the top, right between your shoulder blades. Before we move into cow face pose, let's take a quick stretch. Opposite hand come on top of your elbow and sort of press to the left and back. I'm going to keep your right hand where it is, circle your left arm, and reaching for the fingertips. You may have a strap here that you're holding with both of your hands. A few rounds of breath here. Inhale, straighten your right arm, bring it by your sides. The opposite arm comes down, bring your fingertips down. You may bring one ear to your shoulder and then the other ear. You may do some neck rolls. Come back to center, take it to the other side. Opposite hand comes right between the shoulder blades. Lift your heart, tuck the tailbone down. Hold your elbow, press it back, and to the right. And one more round of breath. Make sure you're not pushing your neck or your head forward. Kind of push back gently. All right, arm circles back, finding a nice range of motion here. See if you can. Touch your fingertips. Aside from me, it can touch the first side, it didn't, and that's okay. It never does. It's different. And 
slowly, gently pressing your head back. Unwrap the arms one at a time. Reach your arms past your head, palms facing back behind you, exhale, lower it down. Let's do it two more times. Flip your palms forward, raise it past your head, exhale. Moving with different shoulder rotation here. It's kind of checking and let's do it one more time. Inhale, slowly moving through our Exhale, slowly moving down and let it go. Inhale, reach back up, palm on your hands and knees. Inhale for cup. Exhale for cup. Rock your seat side to side, rocking your hips. Come back to center. Inhale for cup. Exhale for cup. Tuck your chin to your chest. Rocking, finding some space in the torso area. Inhale. This last time, tuck your chin to your chest. Rock it to the right, to the left. Both of your feet to one side. And come reclined on your back. So we'll take Shavasana today with some props. I'm gonna use a bolster. If you don't have one, you can have a bunch of um, pillows on top of each other just to get that height. And slide it under your knee. Go ahead and get set up. If you have more props than normal, you can even, like if you have like two bolsters, for example, you can have your one bolster, you can have two blocks right next to each other and the other bolster right on top. And then you have like a couch. So it can be like very, very comfortable and restorative. So adjust as you need. Yeah. Back of my knees resting down. I'm gonna come all the way down on my back. Let's see what feels comfortable. If you need to adjust anything. Let your entire body get heavier and get softer at the same time. Softer and heavier, heavier and softer. If you have any little things you need to do for you get comfortable, any wiggles, any any restlessness, you can go ahead and shake it out in any way. Appropriate for the moment. I'm gonna, gonna bring your arms to your sides, palms facing up. You can bring your hands wider than usual. Claim your space. Take as much space as you need. Let your breath come back to its own natural pace. There's no judgment or, or adjusting of anything. Just let it be. Let it go and let it be. Just stay with your breath. However it's like right now. Feel the shoulders coming heavier down toward the earth, supported. And your jaws are doing the same thing. Softening down towards your shoulders. And all of that energy is just falling down to the earth. From here, you're gonna move down to your elbows, to your wrists, and down to your fingertips. And feel each fingertip getting softer. Starting with the pinky side, pinky finger, your ring finger, your middle finger, your index. And all that energy is hanging out at your index finger, let it fall down to your thumbs and down, spilling back to the earth. And take a big inhale in, expanding your chest, as much air as you can get in. your teeth are parting and your tongue is just floating in your mouth until it gently rests on the bottom 
as the weight of your tongue is going to pull your jaw down gently. And let gravity do its work. And from your chin, you're going to move down to your sternum. And down to your navel, pubic bone. And coming down towards the hips. And cleaning the space around the hips. Storing any energy or tension. And let it go. of energy moving towards your pinky and each and every one of your toes until you come to your big toe. Take a big and help your navel rise all the way to the top. And let it seep out toward the earth. You have to swallow. any smells in the room, any sounds. And you're slowly coming back to your breath. You start to deepen the breath. And let it awaken your body. Gently bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your navel. One big communal breath here, inhale. Exhale, gently blink your eyes open. Take a moment, notice any difference, any changes. Namaste everyone, thank you for practicing. Today, see you next time.